Hello everyone, this is Randall Baldwin with Infinity Digital. I'm here today to tell you why I believe that Tesla stock will shoot to the moon in 2024. And on past 2024 20, actually. Uh, number one, Tesla has dominated the EV market with 18% market share this year in 2023. It's also ramped up production this year as well. We, they have the quantum chip technology uh, for the AI software, which is the most advanced software for AI. It's uh, supposed to be four times faster, actually, than the uh, the new the the most advanced software that that they've already uh, come up on with. Uh, they're supposed to be like four years ahead of any competitor they have. Um, and it is the most advanced software for the, in the world for AI. And uh, of course they're, they're getting ready to build robots too. They already have built uh, probably a dozen or better, I guess, robots to test with. Uh, to see how they react to human beings and uh, make sure they're safe and everything. Um, and they got, uh, they'll, they'll put them probably in production in the near future. I'm not exactly sure about how long it will take for them to start production on them, but I, I don't figure it'll be long. Uh, since they got that AI software now to uh, uh, advance the characteristics of the uh, robot. And uh, let's see, number four, they currently build EV, EVs in three countries this year, uh, plus more in 2024. I'm going to say, well, they've got one in China, one in Germany, and uh, two, if not three, in uh, the United States, which will serve Canada and Mexico. Um, and they, they've got talk about putting one in Mexico, too, an, another factory, EV factory. I think they build like three different models uh, here in the United States plus the Cybertruck. Now I'm not sure about other states, uh, but um, they're they're quite advanced as far as putting out vehicles. Uh, um, and they started delivering the first of the Cybertrucks in 2023 in November of this year I think uh, I think they sold the first 10 this year uh, of course the Cybertruck still you know in the test mode and, and stuff and uh, work, I'm sure they're working out a few things that need to work out on them but uh, it's it seemed like it's been a, a big hit with people so far and they're just ahead of everybody as far as the electric vehicle market goes. And uh, they've talked about maybe using a uh, uh, a hydro engine. I think it is. Uh, it's a hydrogen engine is what it is. Uh, he hadn't put that past... Uh, making that, uh, building that engine uh, as far as uh, electric vehicles go as long as they can uh, use it uh, for the good of the green industry uh, and all. Um, and uh, they just got done building the first line of charging stations from that extend from the west coast to the east coast uh, to make it where they can go all the way across the United States with them without a uh, hindrance of not being able to find a place to recharge the batteries. 
Uh, they've also put satellites in orbit to provide the world with Wi-Fi. It will also provide the ability with the help of quantum chips in the computer system to enable AI for automated driving. Uh, I'm not sure how long it will take them to come out with automated driving as far as that goes, but I don't think it's far off. It's it's uh, not as far as someone would think. Um, I'm I'm thinking that that it's probably going to be the end of 2024 or the beginning of 2025, somewhere around in there. And. Uh, Number nine, they will carry a new era of transportation, which uh, when they start building a semi-truck, I'm going to say that they're going to come out with an electric bus. And uh, those electric buses uh, will change the world as far as that goes, I think, because if they incorporate that uh, automated driving in, in with it, uh, it's amazing how how they're going to change the world. Uh, it'll be a new era in transportation. It will also mean a whole new opportunity in itself, pro and will probably mean more millionaires than you can count on both hands and toes. Um, the buses will carry people, uh, uh, a lot of people, uh, short and long distances, uh, uh, instead of flying in an airplane or whatever. But uh, it'll also have it to where owners of electric vehicles, if, if they're automated driving uh, hooked up to them, that they can uh, do ride share while the other person's at work his car he can send his car off and have uh, let someone else rent it for a certain amount of time whatever and it'll it'll be an opportunity there to make uh, extra money on the side besides what you just would n normally uh, make it work you know and uh that's that's opportunities that uh, people have in the in the near future with uh, with that stuff. Um, number ten. Oh, they also have prototype, uh, which I said of a bus to build, and uh, I figure they'll start that on, on production of them when they start the semi truck. If if it doesn't make their stock shoot up, it'll miss a damn good chance. Uh, I'd be glad to hear any of y'all's comments or whatever about this uh, on uh, on Tesla's uh, market share and uh, what they've got planned for the future and everything. Uh, of course, you know that Tesla's in SpaceX now on SpaceX, and he sent all these satellites up in the air. He'll be also uh, uh, using that uh, those satellites to uh, give inf feed information to the vehicles as far as maps and roadways and stuff like that goes, and. Uh, opportunities that are coming up here in the EV market and uh, a lot of these auto bikers I'm sorry to say that it's I don't know whether they'll make it or not as far as the EV goes uh, they uh, they hadn't uh, they hadn't uh, fitted uh, electric in that fast and they're they're not going that fast at it they didn't I don't think they believed in it really that well uh, I don't know whether it's uh, they didn't believe in it or whether they just uh, 
thought it was a bunch of hype or something that they were trying to go to green technology. But there's a lot of people that are worried about the way this world's going, the economic future, and uh, and the uh, uh, state of the country as far as that goes, and being able to uh, give opportunity to to uh, people that uh, need it, uh, new jobs, uh, uh, just a whole new economy as far as that goes. Uh, with this battery technology they've got now, they're coming up with a whole new opportunity out west uh, for getting in lithium for the batteries and stuff. And I think that's a good situation because it's going to create a lot of jobs and stuff. And uh, it'll probably, uh, jobs will probably be taken away from other people in the uh, uh, vehicle market. And I'm going to say on down the road that it's probably going to take away from the, the truck drivers they have because uh, they have... Uh, uh, what you might say a job driving a truck which when they go to automated driving there's not going to be any uh, drivers when they get full in force uh, there'll be a lot of changes in this country when, when it's all said and done and I'm not sure uh, how the changes are going to affect us. Uh, I really hope that it affects us for the better, but uh, with robots taking over jobs like uh, truck driver's jobs or bus, or bus driver's jobs or cab uh, people uh, like Uber and uh, what's those other cab companies or, or you know transportation companies uh, which they might take it over and, and use the automated driving and do real well I guess uh, but uh, they were there's always a chance of something going wrong somewhere and uh, I'm going to say that you know Things might go wrong in this stop, but I don't think they will. Uh, I, I think it, it it's uh, it's meant to be, and uh, I think that they're doing a heck of a good job. Tesla is putting out these electric vehicles. It just amazes me how they can do it as fast as they do, and uh, give them the horsepower and the speed and agility that they've got. Uh, I just it just warps my mind to think of, of how they do it uh, but uh, they've got it now where it's it just amazing how technology has advanced in the last several years uh, I just hope that technology uh, does well for us and, and AI does well for us and uh, uh, I just hope hope everything works out good with it, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, there's no telling where technology is going to take us to, but uh, it it seems like that uh, it's going to take us in a lot of places. Uh, I don't know whether it's going to take us to some places we don't want to go or not, but. Uh, we got to be very careful with this AI technology because, and they, and I think the government needs to uh, start putting uh, some more uh, looking into AI as far as that goes and develop laws for AI because it could get to where they can control us. And uh, I know the government controls us to a certain extent but when you get a robot to controlling you and uh, there's no leeway there it's it's everybody's going to be treated the same uh, 
and I don't know how that'll work out. Uh, I'm sure there'll be some people that'll uh, that won't like it, and there'll be some people that do like it as well. But uh, if if you start if people starts uh, lying to AI or changing things up, it could be a mess before it's all over with and that's what I'm sort of afraid of in a way uh, is that AI technology going in the wrong direction or or getting the wrong people getting it in their hands to uh, to change it for bad things and uh, would we need more governments in, in AI where they can better control it, uh, what they can control of it. Because uh, if it gets in the wrong hands, it could be could be bad. Uh, that's all I have for you, and thanks for watching. Please subscribe down below. I appreciate it. It'll help the channel very much. And uh, thank you for being a customer and watching our videos. Good day.